This conference will now be recorded. So yesterday what we have done, we have just started about us, uh, introducing yourself, followed by we have discussed some advantages of auto automation, how it makes our life easier and stuff, right? Yeah. Yes or no? Deepthi, Kinjal. Yeah. Yes, Deep Ranga. Ranga. Yeah. 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 Ranga. So, what is the point that I'll be discussing today is why Selenium has become one of the most sought tools in automation. What are the main tools that are present in the market? RPA. Yes, these are the main tools, right, that you have in the market. The people are already working in the industry. These are the main tools that you have in the market, right? Yes. So these are the five tools that we have mainly used. So RPA is a paid tool again. EFT is a paid tool. The license of these tools cost way higher. Tosca is a paid tool. Yeah. Would you like to go for pay tools in this era? Uh, how about the security, uh, Rahul? Are they sec I mean, like if we are going for open source. Uh, the I word mean... open source, the word open source says it's a free to use. Then there's no question about security, right? Okay, but what they say is licensed tool, the tool is more secure than open source, right? Yes, but how many companies are willing to offer that much of payment? If you just know the co just know the cost of UFT and RPA license, they start from three lakhs, four lakhs per user. And for practice sake, would you like to spend that much amount of time, or are, are the startup companies are willing to spend that much amount of money on this? Or will the client will sponsor you to spend that much amount of money for a tool? Yes or no? The security lies in your code, not in the, I mean, of course. Security lies in the code. Is this clear? Yes, Is this yes, clear? got it. Hmm. It's not only every time it's not only about the security, it's also about the company standpoint of you also. Then test case studio is a new tool in the market, which needs some time to be in, which needs some time to be in the, to be, to know the exact, to know whether it is good or not. Cypress, Cypress and Playwright is an open source tool. Okay. So, the Cypress and Selenium are competitors to each other. Yeah. Because both are open source, right? Yes or no? So what are the features that Selenium offers? It is an open source tool. Supports 
multiple browsers like Chrome, Firefox, Edge, Safari, Opera. Clear? Clear? Is this clear everyone? At this point, clear everyone? What does flexible to use mean? Flexible to use is like, since Selenium is open source, you can make the tool work as per your requirements. Whereas this RPA, UFT, or Tosca automation anywhere, you have to work as per the tools, features, and flexibility. Here, Selenium works according to you. Whereas rest of the tools, you have to work according to the tool here. It works according to our usage. Got it? OK. Thank you. Consumes less hardware. Clear? Supports parallel testing. What do you mean by parallel testing? How do you run the test cases? You run one after the you run one after the other simultaneously, right? Yes or no? How do you generally do the testing? You do one after the other, right? You do one after the other, right? So what do you mean by parallel testing is, suppose you have 10 test cases right now. And if you don't want to do one after the other, what happens if you want to run all the five, first five test cases should be running simultaneously first? Yes, we can also do that approach. Got it? Got it, everyone? I don't want to execute the cases one after the other. Like I want to execute three test cases at a time, followed by next set of three test cases, followed by another set of three test cases. Got it? Since it supports multiple browsers, it supports cross-browser testing also. What do you mean by cross-browser testing? We can check whether the same, the same application is working properly in Chrome, Firefox, Edge, or Safari, etc. Got it? Got it? Is this clear? So is this clear everyone? Deepthi, Ashad, Kinjal, Ranga? Yes. When it comes to Cypress, our playwright for suppose. Yeah, go ahead, go ahead. So you will be explain us later on what is cross testing and what is parallel testing. Cross browser testing can be done in the initial stage only like the same application of it works at different different browsers. You can see parallel testing is something that requires a lot of time for me. But as I told you in the course plan that if we have some time, then we'll be covering as part of the bonus topics. Clear. Okay. Cypress, it's an open source tool, supports only Chrome and Firefox. Yeah. Supports only the usage of JavaScript. Yeah. 
consumes more hardware. And requires us to use us to use more complex, more libraries to set up. Clear? Does not support parallel testing here. Clear? Still, I would say like it's flexible to use. Is this clear, everyone? Yeah. JS stands for JavaScript, guys. Yeah. Down the line, I'll be giving you more differences about Cypress versus Selenium, guys. Is this clear, guys? Yeah. Uh, I want to know. It is said that there are certain codeless testing tools, right? So, are they are any of these codeless? RPA, UFT, Tosca, Automation, and where all the paid tools are codeless. First of all, it means you don't need to have knowledge of all these uh, languages. They have a separate. They have a what separate does it actually language. Mean? For, they have a separate tools. Everything is within the tools only. Uh, the tools okay, will help you to do. You don't have to have a basic understanding of any other computer language. You just learn this and then you're good to go. Is it like that? Yeah, it's like that. But you need to have a bit of B VB scripting. VB scripting. Okay. Visual basic scripting. Oh, okay. Hmm. Clear? Any doubts so far, guys? Can, is it good to go? Hmm? Yeah. Is it good to go, guys? Yeah. Like there is a saying in English, every coin has two sides. Yeah. What are the disadvantages of using Selenium? Does not support image processing. What do you mean by does not support image processing? Validating the details in the image, getting the text from the image, comparing whether the images are proper or not. The Selenium tool does not support, does not support audio and video testing, does not help us in doing barcode testing. Clear? Does not have any direct integration. With test management tools like Jira, HP ALM, QTest, etc. Yeah. Does not have its own reporting tool. We always depend on depend on third party tools we always depend on third party tools to generate the reports clear yeah. need to work hard need to have a good knowledge about any programming need to have any good knowledge on any programming Need to have basic idea about any programming language to work with this tool. Yeah.
Cypress has its own reporting tool. It has its own reporting mechanism. Clear? Is this clear? Is this clear? Yeah. Any doubts? Any doubts, guys? Yeah. Until when this classes go? Arshad, I couldn't get your question. You have to talk. Arshad, I couldn't get your question, brother. You have to talk. Uh, today is my first day, and I got the pamphlet, and it doesn't say how long these... Uh, is it for uh, two weeks, three weeks, uh, four weeks? It's 30 to it 45 days. 45 days? All right. 30 to 45 days. 30 to 45 days. Okay, thanks. Hmm. So these are the advantages and disadvantages of Selenium. Yeah. So under Selenium, there are four different tools. Under the Selenium family that we have, we have four different tools. One is Selenium IDE. Selenium RC, Selenium Web Driver, Selenium Grid. Yeah. So these are the four different tools that are present under the Selenium family. So what do you mean by Selenium ID? Selenium stands for Selenium ID stands for Selenium Integrated. Development and envir developer environment. Okay. Clear? Yeah. What is Selenium ID is all about? What is Selenium ID is all about? It is a record and playback tool. We need not have any programming knowledge it is an extension to your browser. Yeah. Works in Chrome and Firefox. basic idea about html would work fine is this clear the five points yes or no uh, could you explain it is an extension to your browser i mean i'll just ex i'll give a demonstration of it so search for selenium id for chrome okay you got this point right search for selenium id for chrome got it once you search for selenium id for chrome you click on this link then it will show the list of extensions that we have since i have already installed this extension in my browser i click on remove from chrome yeah then i click on add to chrome clear then we click on add extension Is this clear? How do we add an extension to the browser? Yes. Okay. Then you see this extensions icon here. So once you see this extension icon here, click on this. So click on the Selenium ID. So 
So this will be a pop-up wizard stating that what would you like to do? Would you like to record a new test in a new project? Open an existing project, create a new project, and close the Selenium ID. Got it? Yeah, so it is only for Selenium we can put it in, uh, like we can add it as an extension, right? But uh, how about uh, if you're doing uh, cross-browser testing, uh, how about IE or Edge uh, or uh, Firefox? See, see I mean, just uh, wait for a while till we finish all the points, okay? This is the first tool. I forgot to mention this point. This is the first tool as part of Selenium family, okay? that has been in invented as part of Selenium family. Got it? In 2004. It has been invented in 2004. Got it? Employ it. Artworks. Yeah. Here at this point, by the year 2004, this they didn't have these many ideas, and the tool also is still the same. Got it, Deepthi? Yes, Rahul. Yeah. Since I've added the new extension in my system, what I would like to do, I'll click on record a new test and a new project. Then I'll give my project name as some, what do you call, first test case recording. You can give any name of your choice. When you click on OK, you need to mention the URL for which you want to record the actions. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. I want to record the set of actions for this Amazon website. Clear? Is this clear? Yeah. So we click on start recording. Then we start our recording. Then what do we do? We search for a product called as Cricket Kit. Then I'll be selecting this brand as SG. Then I'll be selecting the price range as 10,000 to 20,000. Okay. Then I would like to select, I'd like to select this top brands. Clear? Then I want to sort by on the basis of newest arrivals. Is this clear everyone, the recording? Yes, yeah. sir. Yes. So, let me stop the recording of whatever I've done. There's a stop button here. You can click on stop button. Then you can give the test case name as first test case. As your name. And we click on OK. So, now we have recorded the set of actions. Okay. Now, if you want to play the same actions again, there's a play button here, right? So please click on this play button. Is this clear how the recording has been done?
Yes. Any doubts? It's just record and replay, right? So right yeah, now it's we just can record. Play. Yeah, just to record and play. As you said. It's just record and play. Nothing else. That is why I told you that we don't have we need not have any coding knowledge for this. And you see it has its own inbuilt logging mechanism. Yeah? Where I have clicked on stuff. Yeah. If I really want to reduce the speed of the execution, you can click on this timer button. You can reduce the speed like this. And you can click on play button to start the execution again. Now the speed of the execution is very slow. Hope you are able to see that how slow it is going. Yeah. I want to know what's the whole purpose of this? Like, why is it even used? Because yeah. it is used for telling in the interview. It is used for demonstration <laughs> sake. Mm -hmm. That's simple as such. So it is only to use to check if the website is working fine or not. Yeah, it's used to check whether the website is working properly or not suppose you want to give a demonstration to your customers if you record a flow like this and demonstrate you will feel mm -hmm. much happy right okay like a presentation or something we can just we don't have to go and do it again and again we can just play it yeah and it goes on yeah that's okay that's correct So Rahul, in real time, they just do this record and play only, or do do they? I mean, do they have any, uh, you know, anything like um, like I heard different like B Cucumber BDD branch that comes uh, under Selenium yeah. WebDriver. Uh, okay. That comes under Selenium WebDriver, not under Selenium ID. Are we cover covering that? Okay, yeah. Yes. The okay, first okay. tool I'm discussing is Selenium ID. I'm just coming point okay, to point. Okay. okay. Okay, so uh, my question is like, how do we use these four tools you have given, right? IDE, RC, WebDriver, and Grid. So mm -hmm. it depends on the test cases, what we should take, or uh, how how is it like? How how will we decide which one should yeah. be used for? Just now I have told the answer. This tool is just useful for clearing your interviews, as well as it acts as a prototype only. That's it. It acts like if you want to demonstrate a customer, you need to just record the flow and play the flow in front of him so that he'll feel happy. That's it. Okay, so we will point? not do any testing with IDE, is it? Yeah, it's you cannot do for... any testing with IDE because you're not putting any validations. You're not checking whether it's loading properly or not. Nothing, right? It's just a record and play. Got it? Okay, so IDE don't have any validation checkpoints. Okay. Yeah, okay. you can't put any validation or something like that. It's just a simple record and play. Okay. Disadvantages of this tool is you cannot do any sort of valid any sort of validations because as a tester you have to do a lot of validations, right? Which we yeah. cannot do it. Execution speed is a bit slower compared to compared to other tools. It is good to be used for proto prototype demonstration. Yeah. Yeah. Suppose if you want to click on this product, it opens in a new tab, right? Normally. Yes or no? Guys, is this point clear? When I select a when I click on a new product, the product opens in another tab, right? Yes. Yeah. So when you are working with Selenium IDE, you cannot switch between multiple windows. 
you cannot switch between multiple windows you have to capture all the recordings in that particular window only clear yeah. this clear any doubts so when you cannot switch to multiple uh, windows like while demoing how it will work with not ID, all the will... not all the applications will have to switch between multiple windows right okay, there are some applications there is a situation, which work in the same. then how to handle that then stop using the tool oh that's a simple thing okay I told you, it's one of the first tool invented by developers. Obviously, it has a lot. You feel a lot outdated about the tool. The only thing is, you will just get to know it's a record and play. You will feel like, okay, fine. There's something to just record and do my actions repeatedly. Got it? If there, is any, if there is any code change... So now change, in real time... Uh, sorry to interrupt, Rahul. So now in mm -hmm. real time, we don't use SLENM ID. So now in in projects we only use Selenium web driver, is it? Yes. Okay. And I have to give you the journey of how it started, right? As you know, as part of the training, we have to teach you all this. Selenium ID, RC, web driver, grid. And you need to know have knowledge of each and every tool because in interview, this is the one they ask you. Describe about the Selenium family means you cannot say like the headings, right? You have to tell them which is the tool, what is the tool, what has happened. Why have we went to another tools? Clear? Correct. Yeah, yeah, sure. Thanks. HTML would work fine. Switch between the windows. Output of the script will be stored in Selenius format. Remember the word Selenius format. Clear? Doubts. What is Selenius format? I mean, would you like to suppose you suppose, suppose if for if you save this file, like I save the file, right? I save the file, right? Uh, you got my point. How I save the file? You just press Control mm. S, it will save the file. When you save the file, it will save the form. It will save the file type as side. Got it? And the language that we are and the language that we are dealing here is called as a Selenius format. Got it? And the language that we are dealing here is called as a Selenius format. This is clear. So can you just show me again like uh, you're just doing control s is it to save yeah yes and uh, the extension s. extension the the result save is sid is it side yes. format yeah Okay. So one suggestion I would like to make in when you are in the class, don't practice simultaneously when you're while you're doing it because you will really miss the flow in the middle. How okay. I'm not practicing, I'm actually making a note of it for interview okay. point of view. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks. That may that makes fine, but generally people make to practice and listen to the class simultaneously so for them i would like to tell this point
Is this clear? Can I go to next point? Yes, please. So after this is done, then we go to Selenium RC. So in order to cover all these disadvantages and stuff, in order to rectify all these disadvantages, they have invented a tool called as Selenium RC. Selenium RC stands for Selenium Remote Control Server. Clear? It was it was invented in the year 2006 by some Japanese guy named by by a Japanese person. Okay, this tool gives us the flexibility. This tool gives us the opportunity to code the scripts. Yeah. Initially, we have built the. Initially, we were supposed to use only JavaScript to build the scripts. But in 2018, it gave us a feature to write the scripts in Java, Perl, Python, Ruby, etc. Clear? Is this clear, guys? So I hope everyone is able to see the image, right? Yes or no? Yeah. So this is a Selenium RC architecture. What does this architecture states? Whatever the code that you have written, you are passing it to a remote server. So once you pass it to a remote server, it will get executed either in Chrome or Firefox or Internet Explorer browsers. So how it gets executed? It gets executed by injecting Selenium core onto the browsers. I hope this flow and this point is clear. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yeah. So let us get into the next details. So what is happening? Selenium, the the Selenium remote remote server. The remote server is the heart of your complete execution, where it injects, where it gets executed onto the browser. With the help of Selenium core. Yeah. What is Selenium core? Selenium core is a set of JavaScript commands that gets executed on the browser. What What do you mean by this JavaScript commands? Whatever the code that you have written in whatsoever programming language, remote control server, what does it do? It takes the code what you have written and it gets converted into JavaScript and it gets executed onto the browser. Clear? Got the point? Got the point, guys? Deepthi, Arshad, Aisha, Kinjal, Satish. Is it like Selenium core? Uh, is it again an extension where you have it on the... Uh, nothing, uh, nothing. Uh, it, will be def it will be by default. 
it's There's not the component like a... where we have to install right mm. nothing like that why why javascript commands are being executed onto the browser with the help of selenium core because because browsers tend to understand javascript better during the execution yeah Is this point and selenium is a web testing tool yeah it's a web testing tool not a mobile testing tool yes as well as a, a software in the computer yeah it's a software it's mm -hmm. like a software it's like a library you can say more than a software it's okay. like a library to your project okay okay all this is good the architecture is fine you are writing a code everything is happening fine so what could be the main disadvantages or drawbacks of this a complex architecture is being built what do you mean by complex architecture is being built you are sending the code in order to execute on the browser there is a third party medium that is being done and again it gets converted into selenium core and gets executed onto the browser doesn't it find a very uh, some third party person is doing your job yes or no yes or no yes yes or no guys so this is one thing why we say the complex of selenium rc is difficult second thing execution of to execution of two javascript commands onto the browser will drastically reduce the speed of the execution clear is this clear is this clear guys any doubts it cannot perform api testing cannot perform headless testing Yeah. Yes. Any doubts? Any doubts in any terminology? What is headless testing? I was I was expecting a question on this. So generally, head what? How do you do a testing? You open the browser, you navigate across, and you do the testing, right? Headless testing means what? It is like a backend process. the testing will happen in the background it will not be visible for you got it it's like a back end process when a software update happens how it does and how it undergoes like that okay got it yes clear any doubts any doubts guys uh it we cannot do api testing in selenium rc selenium rc okay there are two more tools selenium web driver and grid oh okay. so you want you want this notepad file guys or just yes, please if you can, can upload it from here yes stop okay. it will be helpful for us okay i'll share the notepad file in the group and in the meanwhile please revise up to selenium rc because for selenium web driver it's a uh, one of the most important topics which i don't want to finish it in a hurry because we have uh, just a five couple of minutes left and i don't want to finish selenium web driver in a hurry okay in the meantime this companies 
Sorry. Is company still using uh, Selenium RC? Uh, if you're talking about legacy applications, they still use it. Well, out of 100, I say only 5 to 7 percent okay. people use it. Yeah. But you it might come in it. the interview. Yeah, this is all for interview. You are just explaining everything in the interview as if you know everything. All right. Great. See, whenever you're working on a tool, the people expect you to know the past, present, and future of it. That's the whole agenda. Clear? Yeah, Mahmoud. Go ahead. So, uh, so that's it for the day, guys. We will regroup tomorrow. And if any doubts are there, you can stay back and ask. Else you can drop off. Thank you, Rahul. Bye. Bye bye. So, Rahul. Yeah, tell me, Arshad. Yeah, I have a question. So, uh, I've been in the market for like, I did a uh, couple of months ago, at least a, I say a year ago, I did a manual testing course. Uh, I'm from New York, actually. And okay. uh, a year ago, I did the manual testing course. And I took a couple of interviews and I cracked one of them. But uh, okay. some issues arise because of the background check and stuff. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, so I couldn't crack the job, but then now the market is suddenly changed. Is uh, most of the jobs comes for uh, automation. Mm -hmm. uh, yes. So um, I want to give this a uh, month at least. Uh, I wanna be back in the market in March. Okay. Uh, so I want to prepare myself in Selenium uh, Eclipse uh, uh, Java testing. And uh, as to crack the job, you need to have this coding experience a lot, especially with you Selenium. Yes. So I want to be prepared for that in until March. So how this course Maybe. will help me? How this course will help you? It always, our course always drives towards the important facets of what is required for automation tester when you're using okay. Selenium. That is the main areas we cover. We don't cover every topic that is present in the market. We cover only yeah. the necessary topics that is useful for your survival as well as what companies expect. Yeah. It's just Will like I be able to same. automate uh, any test cases that needs to be automated? Yes. Yeah, you, you'll be able to automate the test cases, but it comes up with a lot of practice and a lot of hard work. That is what I I'm say. ready because uh, I don't have a time. And technically, I don't have a job right now. Uh, yeah. So, so that's why I want to join something because I tr I try to get some course on Udemy and I try to practice it. But when you are, don't have like a pressure or uh, like some kind of like, you know, ongoing thing, I get distracted, you know. So mm -hmm. I want to join something like that. So every day I can practice some, somebody can guide me if I'm, writing anything code, something is not getting executed. So that's why. Yeah, yeah we can definitely do that. That is not okay. a problem. But it requires a lot of practice, a lot of efforts you need to put, a lot of hard work need to be done. And if you yeah. get stuck, if you really fail around, you should not be more demotivated. You need to pick it up again and again. Yeah. yeah. Okay. All right, thanks, Raul. Yeah, we will. We are here to help you, Rashid, but we expect the similar from opposite and to put their heart and soul in the practice. That's the only thing. Because I don't have a choice, technically. Yeah. <laughs> that, that, that's yeah. why I want to join something. I tried doing uh, Udemy and YouTube, but it doesn't work. It's like so much things out there. I get distracted with uh, watching just different like videos. You have a, it's just like you have a bunch of, you have a lot of stuff, but you don't know how to classify. We are here for that. Yeah. Okay, great. Right. Okay. Thanks. So Thank I do the registration time. and then uh, how does it works? Yeah, you can contact Mr. Kumar Gupta, sir. He will be 
guiding you through the further process. And how many kids are are all because I don't want to um, be like only two three people in the class because then it will get boring because it's, it doesn't. Yeah, I'm not so sure of what is the, how many payments are made. That is up to the management or sure you can talk no no i mean to ask how many kids will be in the class uh, how many people are just it, uh, it depends on on an average i'll have seven to ten over my past experience uh, but i can't guarantee how many will be there it depends okay okay great great thanks all right thank you you can talk to kumar sir for more clarification okay okay great thanks